Chase perfection, catch excellence. Inherit quality, endorse ethics. Cross the limit, dream beyond. Green Valley Public School, Nelika Paramba, Mukam, Calicut. As we all know that today, October 15th, is World Mathematics Day. Galileo Galilei once said that mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. The famous Indian mathematician Shagundala Devi said, Without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. So, we the students of Green Valley Public School searched what is hidden behind this world. On the way, we come across another famous mathematician, Dr. Jeffrey Lai. I'm Arva from class 8. As part of World Maths Day, I'm here to introduce Dr. Jeffrey Lang. Dr. Jeffrey Lang was a Christian by birth. When he explored the mathematical miracles in Quran, he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, and believed in Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Hello friends. Today I am talking about Dr. Jeffrey Lang. Dr. Jeffrey Lang is an associate professor of mathematics at the University of Kansas, one of the biggest universities in the United States. He started his religious journey on January 30, 1954 when he was born in a Roman Catholic family in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The first 18 years of his life were spent in Catholic schools which left him with many unanswered questions. By the time he reached the age of 18, Lang had become a full-fledged atheist. If there is a God and he is all-merciful and all-loving, then why is there all suffering on this earth? Why does not he just take us to heaven? Why create all these people to suffer? Such were the questions that came up in his mind in those days. As a young lecturer in mathematics at San Francisco University, Lang found his religion where God is finally a reality that was shown to him by a few of the Muslim, Muslim friends he had met at the university. We talked about religion. I asked them my questions and I was really surprised by how carefully they had thought out their answers, Lang said. Dr. Lang met Mahmoud Kandil, a regular looking Saudi student who attracted the attention of the entire class the moment he walked in. When Lang asked a question about medical research, Kandil answered the question in perfect English and with great self-assurance. Everyone knew Kandil, the mayor, the police chief and the common people. Together, the professor and the student went to all the glittering places where there was no joy hap or happiness, only laughter. Yet at the end, Kandil surprisingly gave him a copy of the Quran and some books on Islam. Lang performs the daily five-time prayers regularly and finds much spiritual sat satisfaction. He finds the Fajr prayer as one of the most beautiful and moving rituals in Islam. To the question, how he finds it so captivating when the re recitation of the Quran is in Arabic, he responds, Why is a baby comfort comforted with his mother's voice? He said, the reading the Quran gave him a great deal of comfort and strength in, strength in difficult times. From there, faith was a matter of practicing for Lang's spiritual growth. On the other hand, Lang pursued a career in mathematics. He received his master's and doctoral degrees from Purdue University. Lang said that he had always been fascinated by mathematics. Math is logical. It consists of using facts and figures to find concentrate answers, Lang said. That is why the way my mind works and it is for frustrating when I deal with things that do not have concentrate answers. Lang has written several Islamic books which are bestsellers among the Muslim community in the US. One of his important books is Even Angels Ask, A Journey to Islam in America. In this book, Dr. Lang shares with this readers, with his readers, the many insights that have unfolded for him through his self-discovery and progress within the religion of Islam. I am Ahsan Mahbul, studying in class nine.
Today I'm going to speak a few specialties of number 19 in the Holy Quran. Miracle number 1 We know that Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is the starting verse of almost every surah. Do you know how many letters are there in Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim? There are 19 letters. As you can see in this image, Ba, Sin, Mim, Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha, Alif, Lam, Ra, Ha, Mim, Nun, Alif, Lam, Ra, Ha, Ya, Mim. There are 19 letters in Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Miracle number 2. We know that Quran consists of 114 surahs which is a multiple of 19. We can see that 19 into 6 is equal to 114. Miracle number 3. The total number of verses in the Holy Quran is 6346, which is also a multiple of number 19. 19 into 334 is equal to 6346. Miracle number 4. We know that every surah in Quran starts with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim except for surah number 9 at Tawbah. From surah number 9 to surah number 27 Al-Nam which has two Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahims in it the difference between surah number 9 and surah number 27 is 19. Surah number 9 does not consist Bismillah Rahman Rahim while Surah number 27 has two Bismillah Rahman Rahims in it. Miracle number 5 The last revelation Surah 110 Surah An-Nasr consists of 19 words. Hello everyone! As a part of World Mathematics Day, me, Nizan Aushad of Class 8 is going to present a mathematical magic. Some important ages of Prophet Muhammad wasallam and some important ayahs and surahs in Quran linked with the numbers in maths. Hello friends, today I am going to show you a mathematical magic. Yes, the important ages of Prophet Muhammad wasallam and surah in Quran linked with maths. As shown in this figure, we can see the numbers from 1 to 10. The sum numbers have been colored while others are in white colors. The white colored numbers have some special importance. I will tell you, the number 1 is the oneness of God. The number 5, 5 times prayers in Islam. Number 6 and 10, 610 is the year of prophethood. Now, let's come to the Colored numbers 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. 4 and 7 are colored in same colors. So let's read it as 47. 47 means the number of Surah Muhammad. That means the Surah Muhammad is the 47th Surah in Quran. Next numbers are 3 and 8 which are colored in same color. So let's read it as 38. The total verses of Surah Muhammad that means the Surah Muhammad contains 38 verses. Next 2 and 9 are colored in same color. So let's read it as 29. The numerical value of the name Muhammad that means let's find the numerical value of the name Muhammad M U H A M M A D M is the 13th letter of alphabet U is the 21th letter H is 8th letter A is first letter M is the 13th letter A is the first letter and D is the fourth letter when we add this all numbers together we will get the sum 29 that is the numerical value of the name Muhammad now let's come to the next portion that is the number above 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 the total sum of this number is equal to 40 
40 is the age of prophethood of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Next, we can take the same colored numbers 2, 3, 4 and 7, 8, 9. When we take it in the first portion, we have take it in a pattern. Now, let's take it in just opposite pattern that we have taken in the first portion. So, as shown in the figure 27, 38, 49. The sum of this three number is equal to 114. 114 is the total chapters of Quran. That means the Quran contains 114 surahs. Now we see the mathematical magic. I am Tamana of class 10. As a part of World Max Day, today I am here to explain some of the calendar miracles in the Quran. In the history of the calendar system, the modern calendar with its 12 months broken into 365 days is relatively new. In past, we have seen a variety of solar and lunar calendars which periodically made adjustments to bring the calendar in line with observed solar patterns. Some calendars had 10 months, example the Roman calendar. The Mayan calendar had 260 days. Quran makes it clear that the God always intended the calendar to be 12 months in length. Since both solar and lunar calendars are in place, God tells us he had created both the sun and moon as calculation devices. Using lunar calendar to determine the time of Hajj and Ramadan is equitable, since it allows people from both hemispheres a balance in terms of time of the year and the length of the day. For example, if Hajj always fell during harvest season, farmers would have a hard time observing it. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 lunar months in the register of Allah from the day he created the heavens and the earth. Of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion. So do not wrong yourselves during them. And fight against the disbelievers collectively as they fight against you collectively. And know that Allah is with the righteous who fear him. Mathematical miracles are not ending here. We only mentioned a few mathematical miracles in Quran. Also, mathematical miracles are not only in this holy Quran. As Shadindala Devi said, everything around you is mathematics. Green Valley Public School, Nelika Mukam, Calicut.